Hey guys, Ben Place here. Welcome to another episode of the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Well, technically the Great Ace Attorney Adventures. Um, let's just get started here. I've still got my two guests with me. Staying drone. And Golden Knight. When I went for help and the crewman forced the door open... This bolt had been firmly closed. Hmm, it's quite a small bolt, not particularly sturdy, and it just slides across to secure the door shut. But still, with the door bolted, there would be no way to get in or out of the cabin, that's for sure. It's no wonder everyone suspects me. When she glares at me like that, I feel tense all up and down my spine. I, I remember reading once in a detective novel, the culprit used a needle and a thread to draw a bolt across from outside the room in a state situation like this. Yes, that's a clever trick, isn't it? I'm an avid reader of detective stories myself. But the door of this cabin and its frame are made of metal and they seal together perfectly. There would be no possibility of using that needle and thread trick here, I'm afraid. Blast! When she glares at me like that, I feel pins and needles all up and down my spine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. I see. She's the, uh, she's the Yashtal of this world. These are the rules of passage for travel across the SS Beria. It's essentially a list of requests from the cabin That's for all passengers me. on board. It's probably that Burya. Me. That was supposed to be my line. Oh, that was you? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I also missed a line. See? I was supposed to be saying Passengers that. must not keep weapons or other dark, dangerous objects in their cap cabins. Pets are also strictly forbidden. What? Why are you staring at me? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking. Are you more of a dangerous object <laughs> or a pet? Shoot the fan art! I can't decide. No, Steak. No. Well, one thing's for sure. Either way, I wasn't supposed to be in here. You're the only two people that are going to end up watching this episode, anyway, if, if the drop-off is anything to go by. The books have fallen over on the shelf, look. They've all toppled the same way. And what's this? A statue of some god of the sea? Although he's fallen over as well. Yes, it's almost as if the whole shelf has been ransacked and everything mown down at once. I wonder if... Perhaps it was Kazuma-sama doing his morning sword training, do you think? I seriously doubt it. And perhaps... <coughs> it was you, Naruhara-san, in a fit of rage? I wouldn't have bothered leaving the wardrobe just to mess up a few books and a statue. Could the way these things have been thrown about have anything to do with the case, I wonder? Well, no. I'll just set everything straight again. I don't like to see a mess. Don't do that. Messing with the crime scene. God damn it, they did it. Alright. Mm -hmm. She's the one messing with it. That means she did it. Alright. Uh, I'm going to save... Uh, no, let's look at it now. Did, did Kazuma write that before he died? It looks like it's written in ink. He must have knocked the ink pot from the desk when he collapsed on the floor. Then I suppose he wrote the message by dipping his finger in the spillage. Poor Kazuma-sama, no doubt he was in terrible pain. It's almost unbearable to imagine it. <laughs> I suppose he was trying to leave some kind of a clue in his final moments, was he? I'm sorry, partner, but I can't read your writing. 
That's because it's in Russian. I don't think that's Japanese, Naruhado-san. What? Then, then what language is it? It pains me to admit it, but I don't know. It's not a foreign script I'm familiar with. What does it mean, I wonder? Well, if you were there when- oops. Why you won't- okay. Ah. Okay, so the- That's a very large traveling case, isn't it? Yes, it carries a lot of memories for me. Memories? What do you mean? Well, that's actually how I stowed away on this vessel. I was brought on board inside that case. Ah, uh, yes. I see it says this way up in Japanese. Which, in hindsight, I should have realized the foreign crewmen wouldn't be able to read. I was turned over and over and over, and then I was tossed on the floor in here. Oh dear, being a stowaway isn't as romantic as it sounds. Well, it was less painful than a Susato takedown. Um... Anything on the desk? Maybe? Maybe you have to... Yeah, I think I can get a better look with... by pressing B there. <laughs> This is where dear Kuzama-sama would have sat whenever he was writing. London Diary. Poor Kazuma, he didn't even make it to his destination. It looks as though his last entry is incomplete. Which means, what? He was in the middle of writing it when the incident happened? Let's see what it says, it could be a valuable clue. Uh, yeah. Why? That is out of the question. What? Kazuma-sama may have departed this world, but you must not read his private thoughts. But but what if it's something important? Something relevant to the case? Also, why is none of this being added to the court record? <laughs> alright, alright, I won't read it. Poor Kazuma-sama. I don't like prying into people's personal matters either, but in this case, isn't the need for clues more important? Apparently not. Alright, um... Yeah, let's look at this. I think that's some kind of opening for a ventilator. A hole through which fresh air can circulate into the cabin. Isn't that a little odd? What do you mean? Well, this ventilator, if that's what it is, looks like it must connect to the next door cabin. Yes, it would appear to. You're right. But if its purpose is to allow fresh air into the room, surely it should be connected to the outside. Hmm, that's true. Perhaps it's so that rain and spray don't find their way in when the seas are rough, or something like that? I suppose. Maybe that's it. What? Who's that? He wasn't there a minute ago. As far as I can tell, it looks like he <laughs> might be European. <clears throat> oh! How did he... How did he indeed? What the, where did where the heck did he come from? You've yeah, noticed the man too, have you? I've no idea who he is or how he got in here, but he looks suspicious and tall. Suspiciously tall. Hey, I resemble that remark. Naruhado san, don't tell me. Do you really not know who that is? Um, well, no. I don't have any foreign friends or acquaintances at all. He doesn't look like a member of the crew. There's something very unusual about him. And is he investigating Kazuma's desk, or is he just playing on it? I can't tell. Well, in that case, we simply must talk with him. 
Am I just imagining it, or does Susato-san look almost uncontrollably excited? <laughs> By the way, I expect that you've noticed already, but just in case... If you press space on people when they're in the crosshairs, you can converse with them. Fourth wall! Fourth wall! Alright then, I'll get that suspiciously tall gentleman in my sights and see what he has to say for himself. Oh, please do. Uh... Well, I'm six foot eight in real life, so... I... I mean, I just wanna check... yeah. I wanna check everything else yeah. first. This is... yes, it's a bell cord contraption, I think. What do you mean, contraption? I read about it in a book I was studying that talked about life in Great Britain. Large households often have a bell cords like this, which you can pull to ring a bell to summon servants. <laughs> really? That sounds almost magical. Shall we give it a little try? Yes! In the interest of cultural research, obviously. I suppose nobody comes for lowly Japanese people. No, no, I'm sure it's just that everyone is busy, that's all. <laughs> that was oh, worth it. Murder. Hashtag worth it. It's some two weeks since we set sail from Japan. Have you really been living in that wardrobe the entire time, Naruhado-san? I think living isn't quite the right description. Oh, no? I suppose not. Although, it must have been rather exciting, making this voyage in your own secret hideout. The trouble was, I never knew when a member of the crew might come in. So yes, I did basically have to live in the wardrobe. And last night was no exception. But because of that, you had no idea what was happening out here in the cabin. No, sadly not. Okay, I think we've got everything. We've looked at literally everything in the room, so... Time to figure out who the heck this guy is. I mean, we've already seen it in the cutscene. Um, excuse me. Excuse me, do you have a moment? Shh, shh. This is a critical point in my investigation. Can we have steak do this one? Yeah, yeah, can you do this one, actually? Hmm. Maybe Absolutely. I should just leave him alone. He seems a little unfriendly. Yes, perhaps that would be for the best. Uh, do your best, Sherlock Holmes. Not today. Greetings, I hope. You I hope skip the, the line. Automatically. No, the game did that. <laughs> Right. Greetings, I hope I haven't kept you long. Ah! Um, what exactly were you doing on Kazuma's desk just now? <clears throat> ah, I see. Fascinating. You're a little bit low. I'm sorry, I'm what do you closer. see? It feels like he's looking right through me. Oh yes, everything is quite clear now. The train of reasoning has run its course. My deductions have crystallized. You have been in Afghanistan, I perceive. Just recently returned, if I'm not mistaken. Sorry? What? And now, whilst venturing towards foreign climes, you find yourself in a most troubling predicament. Oh, well that's true at least. Don't know where he got a Afghanistan from, though. It's a reference to the first time he met Watson. Oh, uh, okay. But, but how? How the deuce did I know that, perhaps? It was really most elementary deduction. Hardly worth explaining. Have you perhaps managed to deduce anything else? But of course. A great many things, in fact. 
There is no mystery, my dear madam. For example, you have fled your native land of Russia, being as you are a merciless revolutionary. Um, no. <laughs> You leave 16 victims of assassination in your wake, and now travel to England to blow up the Crystal Tower. What? what no. Hey, leave Grahatia <laughs> out of this. And when the beribboned occupant of this very cabin discovered your true identity, you ended his life too. Crystal Tower's a raid in Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah, I know. Yes. yes, I believe that summarizes the facts beautifully. None of that made sense. <laughs> no need to hide the truth now. Nothing deceives these eyes. I got them from an elf. I, I like that Sherlock Holmes is completely incompetent. That Sherlock Holmes is completely incompetent in this one. <laughs> Apparently. He's our, he's our, he's like Detective Fulbright. Um, just to be clear, you are talking about me, are you? Certainly I am. Do you see another in this cabin who fits the bill? A Russian assassin with 16 victims to his name? I don't see anyone. I don't even see one person who fits the bill. Why am I Ryunosuke right now? <laughs> so it's true. It was you who did this to Kazuma-sama. What? And... And you're plotting a revolution, too? How did this guy get to be the best detective in the world? It's shameful behavior, Naruhara-san. Absolutely wicked. Shameful display! I, I oh hope. my god, is she I, simping for freaking Sherlock? She's simping for Herlock Sholmes, yes. Who is utterly incompetent in this game, I'm apparently. I'm just gonna call him Sherlock. I'm gonna call him Sherlock. No, listen, there's no way I... Now explain yourself. Tell me everything. Stop doing that. This is ridiculous. <laughs> mm, I deduce a lot of. I deduce a great deal of tension betwixt you two. Oh How could you do it? For pity's sake, open your eyes. I'm not a rev Russian revolutionary, obviously. Oh, forgive me. And as for you. What kind of deduction was that? You were just saying the first thing that came into your mind. <coughs> ah, but was I not right? No! <laughs> whilst... <laughs> One sec. Whilst venturing towards foreign climes, you do find yourself in a most troubling predicament, do you not? Well, yes, maybe. But that's like the only one part you got ah. right. There you have it. You see? What do you make of that? Hmm? Well, to be honest, this ship is en route to England, and I'm in handcuffs at the scene of a murder. So I'm not really sure you could call it deduction. It's more plain observation. Zing. <laughs> Indeed, and observation, my dear boy, is the basis for all deduction. My method is founded upon the observation of trifles, you see. I announce my findings with brassy certitude. And more often than not, I'm right. Are you just having an off day then? Ha. Huh. I don't think you introduced yourself. <laughs> he, he hasn't had his uh, injection. Ah, my apologies. How remiss of me. I am none other than the greatest detective of the century, known to men and women the world over, Encyclopedia Brown. The in... The inimitable. 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 The singular Sherlock Holmes. I spit in the face of the Doyle estate. So, it's really you? The actual Sherlock Jones? <coughs> the very same. The, <coughs> the singular, the actual Sherlock Holmes. Herlock Sholmes. Okay, anyway. Do you know this man, Susato-san? The most famous detective in the world? Naruhado-san, of course I do. There's nobody who hasn't heard of him. What planet have I been living on, then? 
We must ask him what he's deduced. He will have worked out the entire case already, I'm sure. Really? Why do I feel uneasy about this? Well, that's just seasickness. Great detective. Oh boy, let's hear so it. So you're a great detective, are you? Sorry, what was your name again? <clears throat> Indeed, I am none other than the one and only Sherlock Holmes. Oh, I see. You're German? Herlock, was it? <laughs> Herlock? No, 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 no. I have no hair. I mean, I have hair, but please, call me Holmes. Okay, just use his actual name because oh. the joke was writing itself, no? All right. Come on, Steak. Use use the name he has in the game. All right, hold on. Give me a sec. I'm gonna have myself a swig of bourbon, and then I will. Hold up. Okay, I thought you were gonna scream into the void for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't a fan of that movie, I'll be honest. You can read all about my exploits in this exciting London publication. Oh yes, Ranst Magazine, full of wonderful short stories and interest articles from Great Britain. What, is the Strand copywritten? I never miss an issue. I have it sent from England especially. Strand? Oh, I don't know. Ah yes, here it is, The Adventures of Herlock Sholmes. So you're the protagonist in a series of short stories then? Indeed I am. And you've read so many of your own stories, you've started to think you really are a detective? Make no mistake, I'm not the poor, deluded fellow you take me for. Y you gotta do a bit more convincing than that. Your inference is backward. Backward? Hmm. My trusty biographer records my greatest detecting achievements and chronicles them in a magazine. You have a biographer, do you? <laughs> Doesn't everyone? Mine goes by the name of Dr. Wilson, presently keeping shop in London. Ah, about that. Oh shit, he doesn't Dr. know. Dr. Wilson? He didn't know. I must say, thanks to that publication, I've been fantastically busy of late. Why, this very moment I'm returning from Asia, having solved the mystery of a cursed royal crown. Really? I can't work out whether I should take this man seriously or not. Deduction, you see, is to me a science. Logical reasoning in its purest form. I have to watch Sherlock again. A science? And really? Watch the old one with, with Basil Rathbone. The astute observer notices even the most subtle of reactions in his subject. A furtive glance, a twitch of a muscle, a slight inclination of the posture. Fingernails, arm sleeves, photos, and the skin. All of these things are data. Right. And the trained logician can make deductions from this data in the blink of an eye. <laughs> the ultimate conclusion is, without fail, the truth. So what's, what's this about a Russian whatever, assassin, that I am? Right. As I demonstrated only a few short moments ago. How can he look me in the eye and claim that? So you see, I have a turn both for observation and for deduction, and fame. That is what makes me the one and only Herr, no, Herlock Sholmes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> have you managed to deduce anything about this particular case yet? Have I managed to deduce anything? My dear fellow! Who do you suppose discovered the culprit in his most cunning hiding place? Yes, that's right! It was none other than the great detective before you now, Mr. Herlock Sholmes. Ah, I see. In other words... I'm in these now because of him. Yes, they were a gift from Irene Adler. When I became anxious about Kazuma-sama this morning, 
I summoned all the crew members to force the cabin door open. And I concealed myself among their number, gaining entry to the scene of the crime. Yes, luckily for everyone, the great detective Herlock Sholmes was on board. And the handcuffs seem to be an excellent fit, Mr. Naruhodo. Arg. Oh, great pirates, too. The very moment I laid eyes on the scene, two facts were immediately apparent to me. Oh, really? Two facts, you say? Okay, two facts. Let's see. Mr. Sholmes, tell us, please. I'm still not getting over the Sholmes thing, but I refuse to call him Sherlock Holmes now because he's just so stupid. <laughs> okay, I guess you got a point there. What two facts were apparent to you when you came into the cabin this morning? Ah, yes. But first, let us be precise. The two facts in question were immediately apparent to me. Yes, yes, I understand, but what were they? Allow me to elucidate. The two facts that I deduced from a mere momentary glance at the scene of the crime were as follows. Number one, the cabin was locked from within, rendering escape for the culprit out of the question. Number two, the victim was Russian and killed following a dispute with an acquaintance. Wait, Russian? wait, wait. Then it's not Kazuma. Hold on, Mr. Sholmes, what made you think the victim was Russian? Observe the dying message left by the victim on the floor. That is the Russian word for wardrobe. Do, do you really think Kazuma-sama could have left a dying message in Russian? In their final moments, many find their native tongue filling their head. For this young man, Russian. But, Japanese. I hate to break it to you, he's Japanese. <laughs> Kazuma was Russian, was he? No, don't believe him. Don't believe him, Rina Suke. Initially, I considered God Rob may be the name of the killer, a certain Robert God, perhaps? But in the interest of thoroughness, I decided it would be wrong to not look inside the wardrobe there, at least. Where you were found, Miss. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's you. Oh, wait. All this might have been you. you. Hang on. What? Oh, wait. Oh, no, that was Sean's, and then, yeah. Yeah. Where you found Mr. Nawarhado sleeping soundly. She's not- she doesn't usually address him as Mr. Yeah. She says San, yeah, she speaks Japanese. Quite so, I found you the renowned Russian revolutionary killer. Why is it that I'm Russian too? Does he not know the difference between us? I observed that you were wearing the same attire as victims. In other words, you were acquainted. How do you- and if memory serves, that outfit is the traditional dress of the Russian people. <laughs> what? I can't, what? I can't with this game. Our school uniforms are the traditional dress of the Russian people? I I had no idea. Susato, can Ben tell you a little secret? He has no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> and I had no idea a detective could get something so wrong. I took a photograph of the victim and the message that I might analyze it for possible hidden details. <clears throat> Look at this graph. This? This was taken immediately after the young man was discovered, before the body was removed. It took a full 20 minutes to an hour to take it. Yes, Kazuma had already been taken away when I woke up. This is the first time I've actually seen him like this. How did they manage to get it developed? Weren't they all using the wet collodion process at this point? I have no clue. Are you alright, Mr. Navarrado? Oh, um, yes, thank you. <laughs> the photograph of the crime scene has been entered into the court record. I think it's because that, uh, Sholmes keeps calling him Mr. Navarrado that she started doing it. 
because uh, she idolizes him so much. Ah, uh, yes. Can I ask you something, Mr. Sholmes? What, Proto? You mentioned Russia before as well, didn't you? You know, when you said I was a fearsome revolutionary fleeing from Russia and all of that. <clears throat> ah, yes, the train of reasoning that led me to the truth. Would you mind explaining that train of reasoning to me, do you think? Very, very, certainly, if it interests you. How many times? I'm not Russian, and I don't speak Russian. Okay. <laughs> uh, can we talk about your deduction before the things you concluded about me, I mean? Ah, the now famously accurate troubling predicament you find yourself in. Okay, for the record, that's the only thing you got right. Actually, it was the other details that I was more hoping to discuss. You know, the merciless Russian revolutionary and assassin of 16 part. Ah, uh, yes, the more sordid details. It was a fairly commonplace deduction. Here we have this morning's paper. The main headline reads... Revolutionary Villain Bolshevik Flees Russia Via Shanghai Do I look anything like him? He doesn't have a moustache. This vessel made a protocol in Shanghai yesterday, and last night, the young Russian was murdered. Since when was Kazuma a Russian? It sounds like Mr. Sholmes has concluded he was Russian because of what Kazuma-sama wrote on the floor. I think the Russians did it. It was a simple act of reasoning to realize that the culprit of this crime was the same merciless revolutionary. How do you not know the difference between a Japanese man and a Russian man? It's One because of the whole... Man. Sorry, go ahead. One who would kill the very man who helped him to escape after his true identity was discovered. The reason that they couldn't tell the difference is because that was not written by Kazuma himself. It was written by a Russian person. Yes, you, villain Bolshevik. No, 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 how could it be me? I don't look anything like this man, just look at his face! <laughs> well... You are a fearsome revolutionary, after all. Therefore, you have no doubt learned to revolutionize your appearance as what you are full. Of. <laughs> uh, oh my god, this guy. Excuse me, that's uh this is what we this is what I call a bourbon moment. <laughs> if I went on medication, I would join you in an alcoholic beverage. Yeah, if I wasn't on medication, I would also join you in an alcoholic beverage, because holy uh, can, crap, can, this guy is so stupid. You can, sla you can slam one in spirit. <laughs> and, I might add, your name does not appear on the ship's passenger list. Need I say more? Well, that's because I'm a stowaway. What about the other details? The 16 victims of the assassination and blowing up the Crystal Tower? I would never let you do that. Ah, uh, yes, the journalist... I'm <laughs> sorry. Ah, uh, yes, the journalist clearly interviewed the man and printed all those particulars in this article. The deeds the... Blah, blah, blah. The deeds the man has perpetrated thus far and those he is plotting. Yes, everything about this revolutionary Bolshevik was included. There can be no mistake. Is that supposed to be a... a corruption of Bolshevik? I have no clue. Do, do revolutionaries usually agree to interviews with newspaper reporters, I wonder? Well, yes, the newspaper tend to be on the side of the revolutionaries. And what about the part where you said I was just returning from Afghanistan? Also quite clearly stated here in the article. I'm sorry, I don't read Russian. Bolshevik is recently returned after a period of subversive activities in a war-torn region of Afghanistan. What okay, Afghanistan ever where even is it anyway? This Afghanistan place. Here, yeah, take the paper for yourself as a little memento of this great deduction. 
Oh, thank you. Giving us evidence to prove our innocence. I've absorbed all that is of interest to me within its pages, but I see no rubbish bin nearby. Rubbish. So you're passing. He's passing it off to us because he doesn't see a trash can, thereby handing us the handing us an article that proves our innocence. Okay, this guy really is dense. <laughs> no. If he were any more dense, he would outweigh lead. <laughs> and you may find the article on the black page of interest as well. No, actually, he's so dense that he's going to turn into a black hole from which no matter can escape. However, <laughs> unfortunately, his ideas would still escape because they lack substance. <laughs> <laughs> on the back? <laughs> Cast your eye over it sometime if the interest takes you, though you may need someone to interpret. It's all written in Russian. I couldn't hope to read it. But I suppose it wouldn't hurt just to glance at the article. Maybe there might be a picture or two. Um, alright. I'm gonna end off the episode here because I have to go to the bathroom. And we've been recording for 37 minutes, so... I'm gonna grab a snack. Okay, Alrighty. snack break, bathroom break, and video break. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. If you like my content and you'd like to support me, have a look at my Patreon page, where you can get rewards like joining my Discord server, requesting my next LP, and even guest commentating an episode. Link is in the description down below.